Hello everyone, how do you do? This is Project Car to Do, my name is Konstantin and today we're going to look at uh, Artur 15W CNC laser engraver. First of all, I have to say that I got it for free. Manufacturer sent it to me for review, but I'll try my best to be objective. All links will be in the description. Let's start with unboxing. Every component in the individual package. On top there is an uh, user manual, pictures of every steps of assembling. It's very simple, literally two screws and four nuts. Next is a reference table of speed and power for cutting and engraving different materials. Also there is a part list. In the box you will find X and Y axis laser model, power supply, USB cable, protective glasses, screws and some test materials. Let's assemble this CNC. I want to notice that 15 watt it's not a laser power, it's a power consumption. Real laser power is about 4-4.5 watts, which is still very good for this type of machine. You can engrave wood, plastic, cardboard, I think almost everything but metal. Build it in less than 5 minutes. Straight out of manufacture it has no backlash at all. Usually this type of bearings with the plastic wheels need to be tightened when assembling. Let's try to connect it to PC. You need to download an archive with laser gerbil, drivers and some custom buttons for laser gerbil. You can find the link in the user manual and it's not very user friendly to type dozen symbols in address line. Shorten version is expired and not working anymore. Don't understand why they didn't make a QR code with the link. An installation is straightforward, so I won't show this. Let's burn something. Plug in the power supply and USB cable. Push the power button and machine will move to the home position. In the laser GRPL you will see the available COM port. Connect to it and now you can engrave. But first safety. Always wear the safety glasses. It's pretty powerful laser. Put the part on which you will engrave and push the test button to turn on the laser on low power. Then focus the laser turning this lens. Push the test button again to turn off the laser. Choose the picture, play with different parameters, click next. On this window you can set up the power, speed and size of engraving. You can base on the reference table of speeds and power, but probably you will have to play with it anyway. Let's burn. Speed and accuracy is impressive. Let's try maximum size of engraving. 150 by 160 millimeters. This part took about 15 minutes. I also tried my logo and uh, it's also about 15 minutes. I really like that you can put the laser on top of working area like I engrave on the table. You may ask uh, what about cutting materials? Nothing. My personal opinion this machine is only for engraving. Cutting even 3mm plywood will take very long time. You will have to make few very slow passes with the maximum power. And at the end you will get a horrible burned cutting edge. For cutting you will need more power and air pump blowing into the cutting area. So anyway, I think this machine is great. Fast and powerful, very simple and I see many ways I can use it in my workshop. This is everything I have for you today and if you're interested in this product, again, all links will be in the description. See you next time, bye!